Virgo, hi. So this is going to be a reading for January 15th through the 21st. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Virgo. The overall energy for the reading, the Ace of Swords. You want to do something. I have no idea what, but you want to do something. It's not a big something in the sense of, yeah, I want to buy a house. No, it's just, yeah, I want to, what do you want to do that's not as big as buying a house? Yeah, I want to go grocery shopping or something. No, not that small either. Something. I don't know. I don't know what it is. We'll see. In the recent past, the Two of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Wands. Ooh, this is you really wanting to get something off your chest. There's definitely a sense of, not you necessarily, it's, it's one of those waiting. Waiting to hear something from someone or just, yeah, waiting for news here. Waiting, waiting. Either that, either you're waiting to hear something from someone or you want to get something off your chest, but you postpone it, you keep on, yeah, it's okay, I'll, I'll, I'll find some other time, you know, um, hmm. in the current situation, wow, the eight of swords, the two of swords, the knight of pentacles. Someone's confused out of their mind here, and I can't even say for sure that this is you. I have no idea. I'm kind of 50-50 right here. I don't know. Um, whoever this is, good news. They're coming out of it. It's not, it's not going to last for long. But man, it's coming in as a volcano of thoughts, like from all over the place. And it's like, uh-oh, <clears throat> you know, that's kind of how it's looking like. Um, slowly but surely... This too shall pass, you know. Um, in the immediate future, the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Knight of Wands. This looks beautiful. There's commitment. There's a friendship there in the, within this commitment. So it could be a friendship, friendship, or it could even be a marriage. But it's based off of a lot, a, a lot of, a lot of it seems to be formed from a very solid partnership. You know, um, <clears throat> there's passion here. There's fun. Okay looks good all right let's clarify let me do the ace of swords the hermit the five of cups the three of cups oh that's what you want to do you upset someone and you want to make it right yeah you want to give them a candy or something i don't know told you it's not buying them a house it's buying them a candy okay or someone upset you that could be the case too because i see i see a little bit of but there you are involved in this action um where yeah someone upsets someone and they don't want that they're they they want to you know they, they kind of want to give a candy to the other person so that they're okay uh or whatever the hell they like i don't know okay all right, let's do the two of wands in the recent past. The king of cups, the magician, the king of pentacles. This is you, and you're looking pretty good here. Pretty balanced, pretty stable within yourself, knowing what you want. You look pretty good over there. But you're waiting. What the hell are you waiting for? Let's do the ace of wands. For the Ace of Wands, you get the Justice card, the Devil, the Five of Pentacles. My God, this is one of those undercover energies that comes through as exactly as you imagined it, but it hides something underneath. Um, and it's not that it, the person is hiding something from you. It's just the energy that comes through like that. It could be that the person is scared that they're going to lose this. 
and that's a lot of fear that's being hidden and then through their behavior it's going to show up you know but you might not catch it or they they probably them not for sure but um the energy is a little tricky that's that's the only thing and not the person the person is not doing it on purpose like hiding something from you here huh let's do the eight of wands The Queen of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Wands. This is nice. I like how you show up here, they show up here in the middle there. There's a great energy, but it's undercover. Um, and that's not necessarily an issue. It's just going to reflect in the behavior of whoever this is. I kind of feel like it belongs to the both of you, in all honesty. So it almost feels like you're trying to open up fully to this, the both of you, but then at the same time, if you're hiding this sense of fear over this or something, the behavior is gonna kind of shape into that a little bit or towards that, it's gonna bend a little in the direction of fear, um, which might look something like, you think they're fully open, but they're not really, or they think you're fully open, but you're not really. You know, where something, someone holds back here. And again, I kind of see it on both sides. I see that it belongs to the both of you here. Because you are definitely meeting halfway in this energy that surrounds the both of you. Um, interesting. So overall, good. It's just an undercover energy in there. That if it's less left loose, to run loose, then it might become a problem. Let's see the Eight of Swords in the current situation. The Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. How do you get stuck here? Let me do the Two of Swords. The Four of Cups, the Seven of Wands, the Chariot. This feels a lot like two people talking uh, to one another, but their words miss one another. That's like, you don't get my point. No, you don't get my point. And no, nobody gets each other's points because they're talking about two very different things. So it's like me talking to you and saying, hey, Virgo, um, do you want to go out for coffee tomorrow? And then you're like, yeah, sure. Cause you know, a week ago I did my laundry and I, and you start going off of something else completely different. And I just needed the, yeah, sure. Let's see what's time, what time works for you or something, but that's it. That's all I wanted. And then you go off on that tangent and then you remind me of something that I need to do, you know, two weeks from now or so. And we start talking and the point to our conversation is, can we get a goddamn coffee? And we end up talking about things that neither of, what, of us really remembers about the other one because we're concerned about our own shit that I need to do in two weeks and what you did a week ago. You know what I mean? So something like this. The both of you are, I don't know who this is to you. Could be the same situation from over there in the past. I see it as a temporary thing. I don't see it as something you usually do, but definitely passing by each other's years. Your words are just whatever, because I'm going to talk about my own shit, you talk about yours, and then we'll see where we get here, you know? It's, it's a little bit of a mess here in communication, especially, or direction of energies towards one another. Okay. It happens. But it is frustrating on both sides because it's like, well, I just asked about a coffee while here Virgo goes talking about who the hell knows and then going to her, their childhood memory and then, you know, and then all I care about is a coffee and now I care about what I have to do two weeks from now and then, you know, and I'm in my head about what's going on and I feel like I haven't been heard because we didn't establish a time for coffee tomorrow, you know, none of that happened. So you're gonna feel the same way um so i don't know it's pretty 
funny. It, it's, it's funny for me to see from the outside, but I can see it's frustrating from the inside experiencing it on both sides because you don't feel heard, you don't feel listened to. Uh, for the Knight of Pentacles, you get the King of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Moon. Yeah, things are going back on track here. It's not going to last, this situation. It's, it's very, very, very temporary. Somebody's coming in and breaking this energy. Like, okay, let's let's cut it the fuck out, you know? Uh, we know better. Like, let's not do this. So, okay. It's, it's not... It's not... It is coming from one of you, the energy that breaks this. But it's not obvious, as in... I volunteer to break this energy and to keep to go back on on track here. Um, it's not going to show. It's it's just going to happen naturally, but it is going to start from one of you. I kind of feel like it's you that's going to maybe start listening or something, and then then they lean in to listen. I don't know. It seems like an obvious break of the energy, but then it doesn't really. It's quite subtle. Okay, but it is. It is passing. That's encouraging. That's good. Uh, for the Three of Pentacles in the immediate future, you get the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Cups. What the hell? Come on. You're showing me a sense of connecting and disconnecting. Connecting and disconnecting from this particular partnership. Hmm. It doesn't have to be problematic, though. It could be something else. It doesn't have to be this commitment you have with someone, as in marriage or romantic of any sort. It could be a friendship of some sort, where you could connect to them once a year or something, and then nothing. But then it's all natural when you come back. Because it, it kind of feels like an in and out, in and out kind of an energy. But it doesn't come with, oh, yeah, and there, we have issues because of that. It doesn't come through as that. It comes through as that's just the course of it, you know? Okay. For the Four of Wands, you get the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Wands, the High Priestess. Something is shifting, though, here. And it's not a bad shift. I don't know why I'm kind of cringing because it's 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 actually a good shift. Um, but something is shifting for the whole connection you have with someone. So not not only one person, or is it's like the, the two of you work in tandem here. When one doesn't listen, the other one doesn't listen either. You know, um, even over there in the past, as you came together, when one opens up truly not really the other one does it the same way so i'm not surprised that this connection is shifting altogether like the both of you and again it's not looking like a bad shift at all it's looking like there's a shift towards uh more intuition more kind of leaning into the flow for the knight of wands you get the Page of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, the Page of Cups. And I see a whole lot of energies here, too, um, besides this connection. In terms of your friends, their friends, the both of you friends, I don't know. Something where the energy goes outside of the connection, too. But it's, again, an in and out kind of a situation. So you could be surrounding yourself with um a lot of people through this shift of this connection that feels good because it it almost feels like as you're shifting through this connection you're drawing in all sorts of energies that are nice looks nice looks fun i want to be there <laughs> looks like a party or something i don't know um so yeah everything's everything's quite nice here you know there's nothing kind of super stretched out and uh when it's a little low here at least it's the both of you doing it you know it's not one that does it more than the other you're kind of on the same page here when you go with uh, hey i'm not gonna listen to you but okay i'm not gonna listen to you either you know um okay you're not alone in this Let's see uh, what the universe has. The Four of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Four of Swords. 
yeah, things are shifting. Things are shifting. If now it's feeling a little heavy, a little hard, a little, again, frustrating because maybe you don't feel heard, you don't feel listened to, um, things are shifting for the better here. Like really nice, really nice energy coming around for you. And again, uh, it's not only this connection and whoever you're dealing with, it's drawing in all sorts of other energy. So you could be opening up a little more even to your friends, family, you know. So expect that. So yeah, things are nice. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.